844, no tricks required to make that shot look beautiful, but sometimes when it comes to our makeup, we need a little help. We've got the uh, co-author of Beauty Myths Busted, Desiree Stordahl, with us here to talk about not so much beauty myths, but today it's about beauty tips worth stealing from celebrities and some great examples, Desiree. You know, and it can be a beauty myth because we read these celebrity tips in magazines and then you go home and try them and they don't always work. It's a good so point. Beautymythbusters.com, we've gone to lengths to test these different tips and pick out the best that really work. Okay, so take us through what okay. works. So first up, we have Jessica Alba's anti-aging secret. The okay, girl is this. a babe. She is a total babe and her skin looks even better now than it did in her 20s. And she credits that to discovering the powerhouse anti-aging ingredient, retinol. So for <laughs> retinol, she claims that it's helped her reduce her fine lines, fade her dark spots, improve her overall texture of skin. And you know, sometimes it sounds like that might be a little too good to be true. Does yeah. that really work? Retinol is one of those ingredients where it really does have peer-reviewed published research showing it can stimulate collagen production, it can help reduce those wrinkles, fade discolorations, hmm. it can even help with adult acne. So it really is a good one out there. Good one. Maybe not a miracle product, not but miracle. it certainly helps. It's almost like as good as you can get. It is right. as good as you can get and you don't have to go to the dermatologist to get it. You can get it over the counter. For instance, at paulschoice.com, they re just launched their Paula's Choice Resist 1% Retinol Booster. And what this allows you to do is add a drop or two into your current serum or moisturizer to give it that anti-aging kick. That. Okay, who are we going to next? Carrie Washington. This is her multitasking beauty tip okay. to keep her skin looking young. And it's all about daily sun protection, which yes, we all know we should be doing it. It's kind of a boring tip. I have a 50 sunscreen built into this. But you know what? Yeah. That is what saves your skin. Yes. And how she does it is she uses her sunscreen as a makeup primer and then follows up with the foundation with SPF. That way she's protecting her skin without even having to think about it. So if you already have a daytime moisturizer with SPF that you love, you can use that and then follow up with your foundation with SPF. But if not, this is a really interesting product from L'Oreal. It's the Revitalift Mir Miracle Blur SPF 30. And it's got this unique line smoothing, almost like spackle-like texture yeah, that blurs you out. skin. I love that stuff, especially when you get up this early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have Rachel McAdams love Lit her. from Within Glow. So so her makeup artist uses an interesting trick to apply a cream blush to really give her that dewy, rosy mm. glow. Because you know, sometimes it can look a bit cakey when people try to do cake blush. Powder can be your worst enemy it at times. It can. Yes. And even with cream blush, you can do it unevenly. Okay, so, so what, what she here? uses is yeah. a beauty blender sponge. So you get that damp. Right. Soak out, just you don't want it too overly damp. So you soak out the excess moisture. Then you dab the fat end into your cream blush and then literally stipple it in to the apples of your cheeks. I'm look doing this without that, a mirror, so Look at that Rachel crazy, McAdams glow from within. <laughs> Desiree, you got it going on. That, and this that takes skill. Diffuse the color so it's not all just, you know, too concentrated. Right. Now let's talk about these. So this is all about brow perfection. So we stole this from JLo's makeup artist, okay. who her secret weapon is to choose a shade lighter than your natural brow color. Because when you do that darker color to try to fill in brows and to create that fullness, you can kind of get that Groucho Marx brow. It can be overdone. Totally. I had my aunt call me once and say, please stop doing that to your <laughs> eyebrows. And I was like, I didn't do anything to my eyebrows. Oh dear, I guess I need to color my eyebrows lighter. Because also those of us who might not be natural blondes. But even if you just go with shade lighter, I mean, that really can help tone it down. We're down to the last moments here, but we want to get to this. Yes. This is who? This is Taylor Swift's signature lipstick trip for keeping her lipstick on longer. So her makeup artist taught her this trip. She takes her lipstick, applies it, right? blots with a tissue, and then takes a powder, dusts it on a tissue, oh. and then presses that into the lips, over that lipstick, and then follows up one more time with one more coat, and that really creates a tenacious hold for the lipstick. It helps it stay on, it mattifies it. Now that's a lot of steps. Not everyone wants to do that every single morning. So a good little cheat is to use this product from Urban Decay. It's their ultimate ozone multi-purpose primer pencil. Easy and for it, you to say. I know, it's, that's yeah, good. try saying that five times fast. But it is a matte lip liner that's clear, and you put it on all over your lips, around the edges, it really helps lock that color in place. Great tips, Desiree. Thank you so much. What's your website again? Beautymythbusters.com. Beautymythbusters.com. These are the things that work. You can find things that don't if you go to beautymythbusters.com. Thanks for Absolutely. being here. Absolutely. Thank that. you.